This is a case study of the Troy, New York Water Treatment Facilities by BDP Industries. We had two lagoons that we were using, which is known in the water industry. Um, we would put all of our alum sludge into the lagoons with an overflow that overflowed into the river. Um, that overflow was not meeting our speedies permit, our state pollutant discharge elimination system permit. The City of Troy Water Treatment Plant produces an average of 14 and a half million gallons per day of finished water. The plant serves 50,000 residents of Troy and industrial and commercial customers with 13,000 service connections. The plant wholesales water to the cities of Rensselaer, the village of Menans, East Greenbush, North Greenbush, Brunswick, and Scaticoke. The village of Waterford has an emergency connection to the city water system. The plant utilizes conventional treatment processes, including coagulation, flocculation, sedimentation, filtration, chlorination, and fluoridation. For many years, the alum-based sludge residuals were disposed in on-site earthen lagoons. In recent years, the lagoons became full, resulting in excessive overflows to the receiving stream. The overflows resulted in consent order action by the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation. What we had to do was install a technology that would reduce our sludge output. Um, what we, we did multiple trials on various equipment. We used Blue Heron Construction Company. They brought in a mobile belt press. Alum sludge typically does not work great with a belt press, so we wanted to try it a couple times before we instituted an actual technology. With the city facing the consent decree and the need to establish a long-term solution to solids disposal, the dewatering project proceeded. Solids dewatering and disposal alternatives were developed and assessed by CDM Smith of Latham, New York. The options included centrifuges and belt presses. Belt presses were the least expensive, but there were concerns about performance. By using the mobile belt press, it worked very well. BDP was also a local company, which was, which was easy to use, and their service was, is outstanding. Um, anytime we have an issue, they're, they're Johnny on the spot with either phone calls or supplies or equipment or material or personnel to help us solve our, our issue. We've been up and running now for four years. Minus greasing and a couple of cylinders and a few belts, we've been running nonstop since. Um, we run typically four to five hours a day, five days a week. Um, sometimes in the summer we run more than that. One of the technologies that, was, that we were not in tune with was the paddle wheel and how it evenly distributes the sludge onto the, onto the gravity belt. Um, in the beginning we knew nothing about it, didn't quite understand how to utilize it. But after working with it for a couple weeks, you get in tune with how to, how to make it work and how the, the adjustment of it, the speed of that, really evens out the, the sludge on the belt itself. And it makes it for a real nice, evenly distributed sludge and cake off the press. There are many different types of modifications you can make on the belt press, between speeds of belts, speeds of press, of the feed, feeder box, um, to achieve many different types of um, consistencies within the sludge that you put on it. This is used in a water treatment side for alum sludge. You know, by being able to adjust the gravity belt faster, you can dry the, the sludge quicker, get a little bit harder cake. You can use, modify the, the press side itself to slow it down or speed it up to make sure you get a proper cake off of the, the press itself. And those are only a couple of modifications we do. Um, there are many other modifications and, and BDP comes in a few times a year and they pretty much tell us where we're going wrong. Um, and we modify our processes accordingly to try to achieve the best consistent solid sludge that we can get. The cost to operate it is minimal. Um, maintenance is minimal. The really only cost we do is the polymer. And that is your cost of business. You have to add polymer. We've had many engineers on site to to review the actual process and how it works, and they're all amazed at, at how it actually works. Um, the solid, percent solids coming in on our sludge is less than 1%. And with proper modification of the pressures and utilization of your polymer, the cake coming off the press after it squeezes out all the water can be anywhere from 16 to 18% solid. 
um, which is very good for alum sludge to begin with out of a centrifuge or a belt press itself. Overall, uh, with, the with the belt press technology, I'm very impressed. It, it accomplishes what we need to do. It, everything runs from management side very seamlessly, um, very efficiently, very effectively, and I'm very happy overall with the way it was installed and operated. I would highly recommend BDP. From the conversations I've had with BDP, from the service side, engineering side, installation side, they're, they are right there with you any step of the way. Um, for any phone call that you give in, um, they will give you an answer.